Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome to today's lesson. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sick today. Um, so it's not going to be that long of a lesson. So I'm so sorry about that. Um, I've had a fever <laughs> the last two days. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello, Rikan. Hello, Gahada. Welcome. Hello, Aliawan. Hello. Okay, let's, oops, oops, oops. If there's spam in the chat, I have to get rid of it. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Uh, how do I get rid of this? Ah, here. Okay, hold on. I know what to do. Okay. How is everyone? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm a little bit sick today. So like I have circles under my eyes. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. How is it for you guys? Are you guys all staying uh, healthy and safe? I think I'm just overworking uh, too much. So that's why I've been getting a little bit sick. I'm gonna show, uh, I'm gonna share the link to the newest YouTube video <clears throat> for you guys in the chat. Okay. Oh, thank you guys so much. Um, if you guys haven't yet, please go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I am posting there every single day. Um, yesterday's lesson was, um, let's see. Oops. Yesterday's lesson was the difference between annoyed and annoying. Annoyed and annoying. So if you haven't seen that lesson, um, go and check that out. But today we're going to learn um, five different ways to say, I don't know. I don't know. So uh, we know I don't know and I don't know, right? So I've, I've gone over one other way to say I don't know before, but here today we're gonna do five and I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna tell you if they are polite or very casual, um, who you should use them with, okay? Oh, hello Devashka, thank you. Hello from Myanmar. What's the weather like today in Japan? Today is a little bit cloudy, you can kind of see. Um, it's uh, a little bit cloudy. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna rain, but it's a little bit cloudy today. Okay, oh, well, thank you everyone. So let's get into the lesson. We're going to learn <clears throat> five different ways to say, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, let's see. So I have these here. Okay, so we all know I don't know, I don't know. That is a really uh, easy one to use, right? I think a lot of students tend to use it all the time. And it's totally okay to use, I don't know. But if you want to um, you know, sound a little bit more fluent, if you want to spice up your vocabulary, then you can try and use uh, these words today, okay? So here we are. So the first one, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, you'll often hear this. Um, it means that somebody really doesn't know the answer. I have no idea. So for example, uh, uh, do you know how much Bill Gates made this year? Mm, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, I have no even an idea of what, what the answer would be, okay? The second one is, I don't have a clue. So this one, um, in American English, so I am an American, so I will, I'm going to be teaching you American English. In America, we often say, I don't have, I don't have. I don't have a clue, I don't have a clue. Um, but if you are, uh, if you listen to British English, British English, they might say, I, I, haven't a clue, I haven't a clue, or I haven't got a clue, okay? In American English, I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. So these are very similar. I have no idea. Oh, I don't have a clue. I don't know. So these, I would say, uh, you could use these at any time. Um, you could use them at work. You could use them uh, with your friends. Either of these 
are going to be okay to say to anyone, right? But it just means, I don't know, okay? Then from here, uh, from here, these are more casual, casual. So um, if you're talking with friends or your family, this one beats me, beats me. So I don't know the origin of why we say beats me, but it simply means I don't know. So if someone says, um, oh, do you know if Jennifer likes spicy food? Mm, beats me. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. This one, um, I probably wouldn't use it at work so much. More with your friends or uh, something casual. Beats me. Beats me. Okay. Then the next one, we've learned this one before in a previous lesson. Okay. You can find the lesson on the YouTube channel. But this one is Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, Anna. Hello. Welcome. Okay, your guess is as good as mine. So we learned this uh, in a previous lesson. So it just means, I don't know. Um, this one is a little bit more uh, casual, I guess, but you can still use it, um, you know, in, I guess in formal situations, it wouldn't be so strange, but you can also definitely use this with your friends. Your guess is as good as mine, I don't know. Okay, and the last one, how should I know? How should I know? So this one, be careful when you use this one. How should I know? It sounds a little bit um, like you're a little bit defensive or you might be angry. So um, if, if someone, uh, for example, let's see, what's a good example? Okay, you're fighting you're fighting with your uh, brother or sister. You're fighting with your brother or sister. Then your mother comes into the room and says, oh, what does your brother want for Christmas? What, what kind of present does your brother want for Christmas this year? How should I know? We're not, even, uh, we're not even on good terms right now. How should I know? So this one sounds a little bit like you're angry or you don't even want to answer the question. How should I know? Okay. So I don't know. I have no idea. I don't have a clue. American English. I don't have a clue. These ones are a little bit more. Um, you can use them in business situations. Then it beats me. Very, very casual. Your guess is as good as mine. This one's a little bit long. Hard to say, but... Um, this is a good one to try and use sometimes. This one could be used um, either with your friends or in a business setting, both are okay. And then how should I know? Maybe you can say this when you are a little bit angry, okay? So I have some examples written out for you. Um, so we can go over these together. Here we are, okay, oof, very good. Oh, yes. Anna, very good. I haven't got the faintest idea. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I have here, I have no idea, no idea. Um, Anna just uh, pointed out, I haven't got the faintest idea. This one is also correct. Um, I think in American English, we might say, uh, I don't have the faintest idea. I don't have the faintest idea. Sometimes we'd say, I haven't the faintest idea. It means I, I really don't know, okay? How should I know it sounds a bit rude? Yes, it sounds a bit rude and it sounds a little bit um, uh, uh, kind of direct, right? How should I know? I don't know, how should I know, right? So usually when we're a little bit angry, we would use that one, okay? So I have, uh, I have some example sentences. Okay, so number one, do you know when the meeting starts? So you're at work, you're asking your colleague, hey, do you know when the meeting starts? And your colleague says, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, Anna, that's also a very good one. It's beyond me. Yes, very good. So sometimes we say this um, when we mean, I don't know. It's beyond me. I have no idea. Good. Okay. So do you know when the meeting starts? I have no idea. I have no idea. 
Number two, do you know where the closest post office is? Do you know where the closest post office is? I don't have a clue. Or I haven't the faintest idea. Very good. I don't have a clue. Okay, so I would recommend um, uh, trying to remember these two at least. Out of the five, if you can remember these two, um, you're good, okay? Then we have, what time does the play start? So like Shakespeare, a play. What time does the play start? Beats me, let's ask someone. Okay, beats me, let's ask someone. So maybe this is with a friend, right? Beats me, okay. Then number four, how much should I tip at a restaurant? Hmm. So traveling to America for the first time, oh, we have to tip. You ask your friend who is also traveling to America for the first time, how much should I tip at a restaurant? Your friend also doesn't know. Your guess is as good as mine. So I don't know and you don't know. So if we take a guess, our guesses are probably as good as each other since we have no idea. Okay, how much should I tip at a restaurant? Mm, your guess is as good as mine. I don't know either. Okay, and then number five, what does your brother want for dinner? So maybe you have been fighting with your brother. You are fighting, 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 and then your mom comes in. Hey, what does your brother want for dinner? How should I know? How should I know? So this one, remember, it's a little bit strong, a little bit kind of direct, right? How should I know? I don't know. Okay, so be careful with this one, but you will probably hear this if you watch like American movies or TV shows. This one might come up, how should I know? So it's a good one to use, or it's a good one to, to know and to know when to use it, okay? Very good. Okay, so I'll go over them one more time, okay? Do you know when the meeting starts? I have no idea. Number two, do you know where the closest post office is? I don't have a clue. Number three, what time does the play start? Beats me, let's ask someone. Number four, how much should I tip at a restaurant? Your guess is as good as mine, so I also don't know. Number five, what does your brother want for dinner? How should I know? A little bit angry. Okay, very, very good. So uh, if you have some questions or um, if, you, uh, if you want to make some sentences using these new expressions, please do so in the comments. I can check them a little bit right now. Ah, very good, Ali. How would I know means the same as how should I know? Yes. So how would I know? How should I know? How could I know? I think we probably wouldn't say how could I know uh, when we're angry usually, but sometimes we switch back and forth. How should I know? How would I know? So I, I think we use both of those actually. Good question. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Um, kindly, could you explain what is the difference between of and off? So O-F is pronounced of, of. So uh, like um, of means belonging to something. So uh, I can't think of an example with of now, um, but O-F-F -F is off off, like turn off the lights, turn off the music, okay? So the pronunciation is different, the meaning's different, okay? Uh, teacher, can I say, how can I know? Uh, if you say, how can I know, it sounds like you're asking, how is it possible for you to get information? So uh, like, how can I know, so how can I know? Um, a little bit different. I think we don't really use this expression. So if you're angry, I would, I think we would say, uh, how should I know or how would I know? Maybe those are the two main ones. Okay. Oh, I'm new here. Hello, Shazia. Shazia, hello. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, this is a good one. This is a good one. Why don't you ask someone? Yes. So if someone asks you a question and you don't know the answer, you can say, oh, why don't you ask Timmy? Why don't you ask uh, Mohammed? Right? So why don't you ask someone else? Very good. Okay. Oh, can we put it before beats me? So it beats me. It beats me. Yeah, I think some people, yeah, we would say that too. It beats me. Or you could just say beats me. Okay. Oh, hello. If you're late, no problem. I'm new here also. Welcome. Oh, Tete Win, hello. So today we just went over um, different words for I don't know. So I have no idea, I don't have a clue, or I have no clue. You could say I have no clue also. Beats me, uh, your guess is as good as mine, we've learned this one before, and how should I know? So just remember, how should I know is a little bit rude, a little bit direct, so usually we use this one when we are angry, okay? Very good. Uh, let's see, ah! Oh, it's a lot of people's first time uh, to watch the lesson. Hello. I'm new here too. Hello. It's my first time here. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, joining today's lesson. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit sick today. So I, I might be, I might look a little bit tired. Okay. Uh, Oh, I'm not the best person to answer that. Yes, very good. So that is a very polite way. Um, maybe if you are um, at work or something and if someone asks you a very important question, but you don't have the answer and you wanna be polite. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not the best person to answer that. Maybe you could ask so-and-so, right? Very good, very good. There are so many different ways to say, I don't know, right? So if you find yourself, um, if you find that you are saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, all the time, it might be good to switch it up. Um, and depending on the situation, are you talking to your friends? Are you talking to your colleagues? Are you talking to your boss? Um, so try and switch it up. And that is going to help grow your vocabulary and your speaking skills, okay? Very good. Okay. So, uh, all right. I think that's all I can do for today. So, um, uh, if you haven't yet, please go over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, uh, I'm posting videos every single day. And if you can like the Facebook uh, page, um, I go live there Monday through Friday. Okay. So thank you everyone who joined this lesson. I really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll feel a little bit better tomorrow and I can answer more questions. Okay. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you over on YouTube and Facebook very, very soon. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.